Hello, this is Dr. James Bogash. I'm the author of the articles on modernhealthmyths.com. Today, in continuing with our controversial vaccination series, we're going to talk about the chickenpox vaccination. Now, uh, I'm in my uh, later 40s and had chickenpox as a kid. Most people in this age group have had chickenpox. It used to be that you wanted to get your kid infected when they were younger because they would develop this lifelong immunity to chickenpox. And now with the chickenpox vaccination, we are giving, we are not developing a lifelong immunity with anybody. Uh, the other issue that's coming up, these shingles as uh, developed them as an adult and now the shingles vaccine, the reason we need the shingles vaccine or the reason that we're seeing an increase in shingles is because while our immune system has a really good memory, it is not a lifelong memory. So what happens is you get chickenpox as a child, your immune system's all good and it recognizes it. 15, 20 years later, the immune system starts to wane, but you happen to walk by that sniffly snotty kid in the grocery store and your immune system goes, I remember you, and the immunity ticks back up. Well, without the chickenpox in the community, we're not getting that continual reminder for our immune system. So the immune system starts to wane uh, when, as it results to the ch or as it relates to the chickenpox and then shingles rears its ugly head. So now, now we recommend the, sh the shingles vaccination because we're doing the chickenpox vaccination. Amazing business model. Talk, talk about making money hand over fist. Uh, but chickenpox, any childhood disease is going to, there's, there's certainly people that die from anything. We actually lose more kids from unrestrained or improperly restrained car seats than we do from most communicable diseases here in the United States. Uh, so it's not that these things can't be serious, uh, that virus can actually make it into the, the, um, uh, the, the meninges and create a very bad nervous system infection. So, uh, but in general, chicken pox in a child produces a, a self-limiting condition and there are ways to handle that naturally. Just keep in mind that chicken pox vaccination is one of the reasons why we're seeing an increase in shingles and this whole push for shingles vaccination.